What's going on, viewers? My name is Tyler Cloud, and welcome to my collection crib. Over the last 10 years, I've collected mostly video games, action figures, and other relatable items, and my plan is to review some of the good and bad pieces of my collection to you, the viewers. Well, how do I start this episode off? I'm a big Sega fan. I'm not gonna lie. Sega was awesome back in the day. Genesis does. 16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo. Genesis does. In the 1990s, Sega was a household name, and they gave Nintendo a run for their money. Does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Sega was on top in the 90s. But, they were also heading towards the bottom. Overconfidence and bad business decisions ruined Sega's chances to become the number one video game company in the world, and after losing so much money, they would pull out of the 6th generation console wars back in 2001, just before it was really starting to get going. And since then, Sega would become what Atari is, a once proud video game company that is now a shell of its former self. Today, Sega remains a software company, and they have proved that they can make good Sonic games. But for the last 16 years, Sega, along with Sonic, were seen as nothing but jokes. Most of Sonic's games were terrible, and there were a lot of bad Sonic games, which crushed Sega's credibility and reputation further. But, on a more positive note, they would release their old Sega Genesis games, on almost every home console since 2001. <laughs> Today there are so many ports and re-releases of old school games that it can make your head spin. Most were officially licensed by their own respected company, while others were independently made and weren't really good. And while digital downloading on modern consoles is a no-brainer today, some players and collectors prefer to search for the old school consoles and games, despite the cost. But if money really is the issue, then one of the cheaper ways to play old school games is by getting the flashbacks. The flashbacks are mini-sized game consoles that pay homage to the original design, as well as having multiple games built into each respected system. However, there is one flashback out there that wasn't made by Sega, that needs to be removed from store shelves immediately. Why? I'll tell you why. Join me now for episode two of Collection Crib, the Sega Genesis classic game console made by AT Games. But first it's time for our quick history lesson. In 2004, with a little help and out of nowhere, Atari created their first mini flashback. At the time, Atari hasn't made a console since 1996 due to the failure of the Atari Jaguar, but when the flashback came out, it sold pretty well. Companies like Atari and Nintendo have made their own minis, and a company by the name of AT Games have been releasing their own flashbacks, such as the ColecoVision, Intellivision, and their own Atari 2600. However, not every flashback is true to their word of recapturing the magic of the old video game days. Case in point, the Sega Genesis Classic Game Console. The look of the console is odd. I take it out, and it doesn't even look like the original Genesis. The console comes with two wired controllers, and they do resemble the original six-button controllers. And until we get the games going, we'll just have to wait and see how well they perform. If you still have your old Sega Genesis games, they are compatible with this flashback. But the real treat are the games that this console came with. And there are so many classics like Mortal Kombat, Alter Beasts, all the Sonic games. 
but then there are awful games, and I'll get to one of them in a little bit. So, why does this flashback suck? I'll tell you. I'm gonna do a little comparison. I'm gonna show you guys the Sega Genesis footage, and then I'm gonna show you guys the AT Games footage of the same game. And pretty much prove to you guys that this thing needs to be taken down from store shelves everywhere. And we're gonna start with one of my very first Sega Genesis games that I ever played, Rystar. As you can see from the Genesis gameplay, the colors are bright, the sound is great, and the controls are solid. Now let's check out the AT Games footage. Well, the screen isn't as bright. The controls are actually pretty accurate, but the sound... Well, maybe Rystar is not exactly the best choice, so we're gonna put this to the ultimate test. We're gonna try my favorite Sega Genesis game, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Once again, here's the Genesis footage. And here is the AT Games footage. even look at this or even listen to this and say, yep, this sounds just like the second Genesis. Sell it, 40 bucks a pop. No! 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 First of all, it sounds like Sonic is underwater every time he jumps, and there's other noise interference in the audio track that it makes me want to go nuts. It sounds like the game is humming or echoing at times. <laughs> What makes this even more painful is the part when you complete the freaking level. Instead of sounding like this... It sounds like this. episode right here, but I do have a couple more things to show you. First is one of the crappy games, Mr. Balls. <laughs> Trust me, it's worse than it sounds. This game has the distinct honor of giving you the opportunity of clicking on a certain face that will make it, along with another face, disappear, and while doing so, other faces will appear. So, this is kind of one of those disappearing pattern games, and it is kind of challenging at times, but the faces of these grapes are as disturbing as all hell, and the audio again makes my eardrums want to scream! Someone tell me why, damn it! Well, there is the cartridge slot. Yeah, after all of this, how can the old school Genesis games work on this? But, maybe there's hope. Once again, here's the Genesis footage. And now, the AT Games footage. Well, it's official. This thing is a piece of crap. Seriously, AT Games, if you couldn't fix the audio, then what was the point of releasing this thing at all? Hell, if you're so desperate, then why don't you do this to the audio? Can you feel it? I do feel it! Can you sense it? Here it comes! Here it comes! Oh my god! Well, I think the evidence is pretty clear. Take this thing! 
everything off of store shelves now because I am giving this so-called flashback a D minus. The audio ruins the whole experience. If they fixed it, this would have been an A minus. From the number of games it was packed with and the use of the cartridge slot, this would have been a great flashback. And the reason I'm not giving this thing an F is because of the controllers. I mean, the controls are excellent. Everything else needs work. If you really want to buy this thing, the 44 bucks will not replace the awesome memories that the real Sega Genesis had. That was pathetic. You will never win. Look, as a purist, this is insulting. Sega had issues, but why does another company have to half-assed preserve their legacy? My god, is there another company that can ruin Sega's good name, let alone Sonic's? You don't know the way. Yes, I do. do you know the way? I know the way. You have to have a bulla to know the way. This is my new uh, habitat. This is very good I habitat. Understand. This is oh, my new... Yeah, oh, yeah. This is my new... This this is my new. <laughs> you don't know the way of the red bulla or the blue bulla. Do you want me to drink your blood? Yeah. You have to take it by the table's power. I guess I spoke too soon. Well everyone, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll be back soon with a new episode, and I will see you all next time. You remember when marriage was just between a man and a woman? I remember! Oh, I remember! Oh, yeah, yeah I, remember. I remember that. Wait. Remember feeling safe? Remember no ice age? Remember Reagan? Oh, I remember. Oh, remember. Oh, remember. What the fuck's going on with these member berries?